What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, guys. 2023 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball just sold out. This is a 12-box case break. Pikachu's number one, guys. And just remember, guys, we did sell the any and all non-baseball cards as a slot. So obviously in the list below, all of the non-baseball will get these cards pulled below if there is any. So basically anything that's not baseball related, which is a lot. And hopefully we pull a lot of big hits out of those non-baseball ones. Because I kind of want to pull like a Trinosaurus Rex DNA. And, uh, you know, a lot of fun ones. There's a couple of really cool autographs in here too in the checklist. I believe there's like uh, <clears throat> Jay Balvin in here. Lil Baby. I think Meek Mill. A lot of cool names in here, so... Let's see what we can pull out here, guys. All right, cheers, everybody that bought in. Actually, let me quickly. Uh, set the focus. There we go. Last one, Mojo, Alan Murdoch, I got the Nationals. guys let's have some fun so again this will take me a little bit of time guys but i'm gonna enjoy it hopefully you guys do too so again obviously if we do any pull any like rip cards any box topper rips i won't be able to rip them unless the customer wants me to and maybe we'll do them at the end there's the oversized let's quickly just show this really quick let's see who this is and it's julio rodriguez there you go for the Mariners. Put it back in here. Put that to the side over here. And usually the way Bo uh, Alan and Ginter is, is like kind of uh, curated in the box is like one hit is usually in each stack. Remember, there's no guaranteed autographs in every box, but you're guaranteed three hits, whether it's a relic, you know, a like DNA relic, an auto, a rip card, you know, something. Let's just go box by box, I guess. Just because it's a lot of ripping anyways. Schwartz. Little Rally Green. So all the minis, I'll put them in one stack and then we'll look through the back of them just in case there is any numbered ones. Kodai Senga. Gunnar Henderson. Josh Young. 
And there's a relic, Nichols. Thomas Ian Nichols. <laughs> I believe he was the uh, rookie of the year, right? From the movie. Henry Rowan Gardner. So obviously, that's actor, which is going to go to the non-baseball, even though it does have Cubs on it. But I don't think he's under the Cubs uh, checklist, as it says actor. That's kind of cool, though. There'd be a gazillion, dude. <laughs> There'd be a lot. Yoshida Mini. And we have a rip card. Look at that. Gunner Henderson. And what's America's favorite game, guys? Rip it or keep it. So, Baltimore Orioles. Eric Christensen. If you're watching, obviously, I'd assume you're probably going to want to keep this and not rip it because it is a good player. But if you decide you want to rip it and want me to rip it, I definitely can for you. If not, all good. So there you go. There's our first rip card. Remember, guys, if you decide to rip it, you can either pull a red mini autograph, an exclusive mini parallel, mini wood parallel 101, mini metal parallel, or one of a kind sketch card. Robin Yao, that looks awesome. Vladdy Jr. Mini framed relic for the Blue Jays. That's a little McClanahan. I don't know what kind of border that is, but I'm just going to top load it. So I'm going to just turn it around, make sure I didn't miss any numbered cards. And some of them did have like a black border. I don't know if that's more common or not, but I guess we'll just leave them as is. All right, one box down, guys. Let's go to the next one. Another Julio. All right, 
Let me rip another box, actually. It's got a good, I gotta do at least two at a time. Now we're definitely gonna be here for hours. <laughs> Ask Mike Trout. Yep, full 12 boxes. That's right. I want This is a <laughs> this is a fan favorite, but this is also a time-consuming break. So people know that. This is where that's why I say like I want to do as many of these as possible today, but early because I mean I, I'm probably not gonna stay extra hours of the night ripping this when we could have sold it out early. You know, this is probably gonna take about an hour and a half. But there's really not that many breaks on the website that's gonna take this long. So. We got eight hours in this breaking day. Only three of these, so we definitely have time. But gotta sell these out quick. It's a fun product. We are selling the non-baseball in one spot, so I feel like that kind of takes the fun out of it because before, if we didn't sell it, we would be able to give it all away to customers that bought in, but it's just, there's a lot of non-baseball in here, like celebrity autographs and really cool like relics and stuff like that, so it's just easier to sell it as one non-baseball spot and charge it a spot for it too. All right, here we go. Bobby Carroll, Brutchman.
And a relic here of Bell for the Guardians, Josh Bell. That one is uh, Denard Robinson. Remember Denard Robinson from Michigan? There's Meek. Well, they got dog face in here. That's awesome. And look at that, Jorge Posada, mini framed auto for the Yankees. Nice. They got everything here, Eric, from football, basketball, a lot of different sports. Celebrities, radio personalities, actors. Uh, Yankees, Tristan, there you go, buddy. Hopefully this looks interesting. Rarest diamond, but I guess I'll just leave it just because it looks color. They might even have wrestling. You got to look at the checklist, man. On our website, in our Allen and Ginter pages, <coughs> it shows you the non-checklist in there, too. You can check it out. It all just depends on who they chose that year. But there has been wrestling in the past too as well. Enjoying a pina colada. Right, one more stack. And then there's a relic. Adam. Lefko. Lefko? Lefko? I remember seeing this dude. He works for like a. He works in uh, in sports casting, doesn't he? I forget what show it was that I seen him on. Oh, uh, Justin, he. Uh, on Wednesday when he was here, <coughs> his wife is the one that got the package. I'll see him today at some point. He comes in around 3.30. Well, he's probably already here. But he did receive them on Wednesday. <laughs> he told me to tell you thank you, but I don't know if he's tried them yet. I'm pretty sure they have by now. But um, I'll tell him when I see him later. But he is here, though, somewhere. All right, then we got a Langs. Looks like for MLB TV. Reporter. Researcher. Box. Mini rookie frame or mini uh, Logan O'Hoppy. No, man, I've only done three boxes so far. This is our third box. Nothing, no, no DNA yet. Anything like that? Cheesecake. Mm, save some room. <coughs> Shane Beebs. Tanning. Uh, 
Ooh, nice, Brett Beatty. Two mini framed autographs back to back. Both New York teams too. One was the Yankees, now this one's the Mets, Walter. There you go. Little baby. <laughs> EMC. <coughs> Rafael Nadal. Uh, did that one not have a relic or not? Hold on. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Had one. Maybe this one didn't have. This one didn't have a potential hit, right? Maybe it's hiding in the other side. Let me make sure. There's times where there is a missing hit on one stack and it's like two in the other stack, but usually they put it one and one, one. Yeah, they got a lot of shit. It's a lot of cool stuff, dude, yeah. Checklist is pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue on then. Maybe it's hiding on the side or something. All right, well, there's a relic there. Williams. Bernie Williams. That's for uh, the New York Yankees. A little chocolate mousse. <clears throat> Otani. A Mel Tucker card row. I mean, might have got shorted a hit in this box, but hopefully we find it somewhere else. Or maybe not, actually. There you go. There's a third off. There's a third relic. Longoria. Diamondbacks. Let's continue on, guys. <clears throat> Bryce Harper. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So again, guys, uh, man, uh, I have about five orders to go through. I'm not sure what people are buying into. If it's more Allen and Ginter or maybe selling out that mosaic. But again, this Allen and Ginter is a very time-consuming break, guys. So we obviously want to sell all three of them out if you guys want today as early as possible because we will run out of time at some point. <clears throat> so it looks like we're down to like 12 left, 16 left. Uh, we have eight left in that score pack filler, which is great. Still have two left in Mosaic, guys. Scherzer, or Verlander, sorry, not Scherzer, for the Mets. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, well, for Mosaic, you most likely will get something, but would love to kill that streak of no hits, though. Oh, wow, we got one of those hot boxes. Hell yeah. All these would be foils, guys. Nice. Foil hot box. I don't remember how common these are if you get one per case or not, but most of the base cards would be foil.
Here we go. Definitely love to do that fun in the sun, snorkeling. Bomani. And then there's a relic there of Laddie Jr. for the uh, Blue Jays going to Scott. And another rip card, this time it's Sanga out of 199. <coughs> That's for the Mets. One well, Walter. Yeah, I can after I finish Allen and Hayter. <coughs> Boom. Uh, Valana <clears throat> tattoo artist, it looks like. Want to double check the minis? So this is the foil hot box, guys. Obviously, all card chip, anyways. We'll try to probably at least leave up like all the bigger rookies for sure. So that way, it's a little extra protection, but some good ones in here, guys. Hopefully, it's a nice box. <clears throat> There's a Snell relic. Yelich little mini. <clears throat> and 
another frame of any autograph. This time it's Andy Pettit. Which, didn't we get him in the first box? No, we got Posada. That's right. <coughs> nice break for the Yankees. Alright guys, let's see this little minis here. Right, nothing numbered minis just yet. Keep it going, guys. So I'm getting orders coming in, so that's a good thing, guys. One left in the mosaic now. Looks like Bowman HT is down 11 now. Let's right, keep it coming, guys. Clint Kershaw. about this how about a box topper rip card 74 or 71 out of 99 so they only made 99 of these guys now this is Paul Goldman for the Cardinals going to Kai Sean now again this one's gonna have potentially I think what three minis so get a chance at two of the following sorry they only have actually says inside of this would be an exclusive mini stained glass parallel and two of the following so yeah three mini parallels in here guys box topper rip so rip if you dare, guys. So definitely gonna be one stained glass, and then there'll be either two of the following there. Mini parallel, wood, metal, red ink autograph, one of a kind sketch. So, Kaishan, I don't know if you're watching. You wanna keep it like this for yourself, you rip it yourself or sell it sealed, that's perfect. If not, I'm gonna rip it, I'll rip it for you. 
I'll put it over here to the side. Yeah, they definitely exist. Uh, last year, somebody allowed me to rip the box topper for them on a break. I don't know if it was on IG or here, but yeah, no, they definitely exist. The only thing with the the only thing with the rip cards is back in the day, <clears throat> you could actually tell right. Away, you can actually like use a metal detector and, and know right away if there was a glass, if there was a metal card or not. I think now <clears throat> they kind of. Like secure it or block it better, where you don't have to use that anymore. Or you can't use that. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing that the box stopper has is you get three. The little ones only give you one, unless you get a double rip card. Then that's when you get potentially two mini uh, rip cards in there. So the box stopper gives you three, and then the regulars give you one. But yeah, it's basically the same. The only thing that the three also guarantees is that you're getting a stained glass no matter what and then two of the other following. All right, so let's continue on here. In there. And we got a Cabin Biggio relic. Yeah. 
Yeah, the root car sold on eBay. I ended up looking, selling it. Oh, that's right. I think you brought it up one time, actually. That's right. And look at that. There's our first mini autograph framed. That's going to go to the um, non-MLB. So that's Captain Sandy Yawn. Captain slash TV personality. Anybody know her? Unless it's about the dog. Maybe it's the dog. So there you go, non-baseball. Aaron Billingsley is going to get this one. Tommy Edmund Relic for the St. Louis Cardinals. Jastrzemski. And Dustin May. Yeah, I mean, actor-wise, I'd, I'd love to see, like... I, don't, I, don't, I, I mean, Seth, Seth Rogen might have already been in one of these, right? But, like, Danny McBride and those guys would be kind of cool to pull. I think more popular artists... Like, I've been really wanting Bad Bunny to be, like, in a WWE product already, but... I mean, he'd be kind of fun to see in this. I mean, I know they have J Balvin, but... I love like Danny McBride. And we got a Jeff Bagwell relic. Houston Astros. Yeah, I'm trying not to pay attention to the food stuff right now, Mike, for reals. I seen cheesecake earlier and I was just thinking desserts and not, not good for me. <laughs> Look at that, another one. Flan, one of my favorite, right there.
And Johan Moncada. Relic. Webb. Casey Webb. Alright guys, well we're more than halfway there guys, we're at the 52 minute mark, so I figure I probably will take about an hour and a half. But it does look like one left there, 11 left, 8 left, so yeah, we're still one left in that mosaic and it looks like it's the Titans there that are left guys. I'll go through the Titans checklist as well. Nice, light, and healthy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I try to do better than, for that, but... I mean, I don't mind salads. Especially like Caesar, or Italian, the ranch, normal like ranch ones, but... I don't know, usually like if, <clears throat> if I'm at home and it's just like, <laughs> I don't really want to cook much, but I'm a little hungry, like... I mean, I always, I honestly kind of eat cereal a lot. But if not, like, I'll make myself, like, a sandwich or can't go wrong with, like, a PB&J, but... But there's nothing really special that I make or go get or buy. I usually kind of snack on stuff, too. Like, I, I love, like, mixed nuts, like, stuff like that. So, like, I'll buy, like, trail mix. Uh, buy the bag of Costco of, like, cashews. You know? I love, I love cashews, actually. Goldfishes. I don't know. Either way, we're still talking about food. It doesn't matter. Favorite cereal, man. That is that is a tough one, man. Is, I, I like a lot. I even like, like nicer, like healthier ones, they say, you know? From like mini wheats to, you know, Quaker Oats. Um, shit, I even like... Just plain old Cheerios, but <clears throat> when I was a kid, my favorite ones was always like Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks. You know, um, I love Golden Grams. I prefer that over Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's just a little too much for me. Um, I love Captain Crunch as well. I don't know, there's a lot of them. I'm not, I'm not too picky, but I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's the one thing nowadays, I feel like kids, they got the craziest cereals nowadays. Like, oh, they have like Oreos and all this crazy stuff now. Like, like very unhealthy for you, for sure. I even grew up liking Keeks. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But even that, like, I'm not picky with cereals. I can, I can eat regular cornflakes that have no sugar, nothing like that, with like slices of banana cut into it. You know, obviously I like, like, Frosted Flakes too, but that's probably really bad for you, but... Yeah, I was really, I, I was really like a Fruit Loops, like Apple Jacks kid, like, that's the one thing I did eat a lot of. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, dude, imagine? It's crazy. Justin Verlander again there. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I, I haven't dabbled into the crazy ones, even though I see them. First of all, my wife would never let me. My wife's more, my wife doesn't really have a sweet tooth, so she she usually just gets plain old cornflakes. She'll get like plain Special K. Or she'll get like the Special K with like, um, with like strawberries already in it. 
<clears throat> she'll get like Rice Krispies. <clears throat> My wife likes to do it. She'll get Rice Krispies, like the plainer ones, and then she'll get like a she'll buy a bag of like the chocolate ones, and then basically they kind of mix it up together, so that way it's more like a like a chocolate regular Rice Krispie. Eggo, man, that's another thing I did a lot when I was a kid too. Lego my egos, like my mom always like had that for like either me or my nephew when he was born later, a couple years later, like when I was a kid. My niece, they have Fruit Loops flavor of frozen waffles. That's that's crazy. That that is something. I know now they also even have like like breakfast. I know they have like uh, breakfast cereal bars, <laughs> but then they also have like. Fruit Loops like milk, don't they? Like where it's like, basically you're eating a cereal without the actual cereal, but it's like super, super sugary for your kids, aren't? Isn't it? it looks like a milk. It looks like a little, uh, like a container of a little, piece, uh, a little bit of milk, basically. And I think it did come out in a uh, Shark Tank one time, didn't it? It was like when you basically like want to just drink. Like the leftover milk of Fruit Loops or like any of your favorite cereals, but like you don't really want to eat the cereal, you just kind of love the milk. That, I've never tried that, but that just seems super sugary, right? And the guy was trying to sell it to like kids in school, so like, oh, well, you know, instead of like selling chocolate milk and strawberry milk, you just sell them like this, and it's like, what the hell? I did see, and then DeAndre Hopkins quoted that on Twitter and was like, I'm just trying to get my degree, guys, damn. I know, it is kind of disgusting to some people. My wife doesn't like that. My wife just thinks all the sugar just kind of like fell off and she, she doesn't drink that, but honestly, that's like one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Depending on what it is, like if I'm eating like Cocoa Puffs or something like that, like a chocolate cereal, it's basically in terms of chocolate milk. Or like if you're eating Lucky Charms and it turns like a little pink, tricks. Shit like that, you know? I guess it just depends on the person, on the type of cereal. I, um, I do feel a lot better today. Yesterday, uh, I did call. I got I got like this new medication that they prescribed to me last week, but I just never got it, so I picked it up yesterday. But I had a call with one uh, doctor online just because like I still feel little lingerings of like my strep here and there. Like my throat doesn't necessarily hurt anymore, but it's just like sore still and like I don't know little things. But yeah, I called the doctor yesterday during the stream yesterday. I had like a video meeting and. <clears throat> they just prescribed me more antibiotics, but like a stronger dose. And right away when I took that shit last night and today in the morning, I feel a lot better. <clears throat> so they had just said that most likely the the first antibiotics just wasn't strong enough, and sometimes the penicillin just doesn't work on strep as good anymore. So you just got to give you a different one and then higher the dosage. Molder and like instantly like that sore like mouth and like sore tongue all that stuff that I was feeling yesterday like is instantly gone today. It's wild. Molder for the A's. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean I still have a little bit of mucus here and there, but it's not as bad as it was a couple days ago, and then obviously not as bad as it was last week when I was really sick. Yeah, I'm just happy I got more medication, actual like antibiotics.
Alright, we got McNeil Relic. Yelich. Yeah. <coughs> All right, next box. And we got Cone. Pinstripe Rally for the Yankees. He's having a great, great break. All right, then we got a web relic. Oh, this is the new guy that's man versus food, basically. Casey Webb, right? I think he took over for the other guy. Alright guys, three more boxes. Almost at the finish line, guys. Like I said, once I'm done with this, I can also post Mosaic 3 and 4 up, guys. Looks like number one did sell out. Take it to ground. Sean Evans is in this mic? <coughs> Sick. Nice 
another Verlander. Gotcha. Yeah, that would be a fun one. <clears throat> he should be here eventually if he hasn't been already. Plainly in tracks. You guys see that uh, you know Miggy's going on his like farewell tour right now, and everybody always gives somebody like a gift. Dodgers gave him a, a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do you guys see what the Oakland Athletics gave him? They gave him like a ninety dollar bottle of wine. <laughs> that is such an Oakland Ace thing, bro. And then they were saying that Jason Hayward before the season started got one of those $90 bottles of wine for every one of the Dodgers clubhouse members. <laughs> well, the Athletics literally only gave him a bottle <laughs> for just one. Oh my God. That was just the funniest thing. <laughs> that was such an Athletics thing, bro. The owner is just like, nah, let's just give him a bottle of wine, it's fine. And it's true, I mean, do you really need to give anything to me, Mickey? Like, no, right? But you do it for publicity, do it for, you know, respect, and, I don't know, maybe, maybe you gain a fan or two, right? But Oakland is like, nah. <laughs> that is just the funniest thing ever. I mean, if it, if if it's like a farewell thing, I mean, I don't I don't think they do that for everybody. I just think more like if they know they're retiring, like hey, before the season they announce like hey, I'm retiring, right? Then they do that. I, I know they did it for Jeter. You know, they do it for a lot of big legends. You know, Miggy's a legend, so I, I think he's one of those guys that deserves one. But uh, but yeah, they don't think they do it for everybody. I think it's more like if you announce it before the season and then you know it's really gonna be your last time playing against the A's or the Dodgers and. Most of the time, teams do something special for them. I think the Dodgers one was cool. They gave him a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Pujols got a farewell tour. Yeah. 
I mean, you just gotta go look back to it and see what teams gave him, but I'm pretty sure he did. They did it for Kobe, they did it for all those guys. I'm pretty sure Pujols got something from teams. Here we go. So three more boxes. I have two of them ripped, and then we have one more that we have to rip after this. There's another non MLB autograph. There's that uh, sportscaster anchor, Adam Lefko. Don't you say it? Yeah, there's Hayes, Austin Hayes. DiMaggio. I believe this is uh, the voice actor, John DiMaggio. <clears throat> I have no clue, Rex. I don't, I don't even know if I want to answer that right now, just because. Worried about playoff baseball, Rex. But maybe that's something you can ask uh, X Line. I, w I honestly wouldn't even know. Oh, is that Bender? That's cool. I honestly would have never known anyways. Yeah, go ahead. Relic here, Parato. Actually, let me double check that I didn't miss anything over here. Yeah. 
Oh, weird. We haven't got a little mini auto. Or mini, sorry, uh, numbered card. What if there's a mini autograph in those freaking, uh, or numbered card in those, uh, rip cards? It could be. Relic of Zach Wheeler. And an A-Rod Texas Rangers mini framed relic. One more, and we are there, guys. So, about an hour and 20 minutes right now. So, basically, about an hour and 30. So, like I said, if you guys want to run back another one, we definitely can, but just it's got to sell out by like 8 30 because I'm done at 10 today, you know. I wish my special plans would not work and watch it here, Mike, but I'm gonna have to watch like half the game here probably. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr. <clears throat> but no, they play at 12.30, so I can probably leave my <clears throat> my place by like 1.30 and still get here at 2, so. Probably watch the first quarter at my place and then come over here. But no, I wish. I wish I could just watch it at home. <laughs> Throw a little barbecue. But. It's okay, I can watch it with you guys here. a great occasion though, right? <clears throat> Some special buffalo meat for tomorrow's game against the buffaloes. Oh well, Coco's on!
Um, I usually like to do like pork ribs. Um, just like that, my mom usually kind of does the, the, the barbecue like that when we actually do barbecue, barbecue, but I mean more like a grill, kind of grill. Sometimes I get, I sometimes confuse people when I say like, oh yeah, I'm barbecuing, but I guess I'm not really barbecuing like pulled pork or anything like that. It's just more like throwing on the grill. <clears throat> we usually do like, uh, like pork ribs and stuff like that. Some chicken. But being more Mexican, we usually just do like carne asada, chicken, some rice, beans, guacamole, some macaroni salad, have a couple little sides. Heminess. And Lang Leaders for the A's, one of the last few teams taken by Alan Murdoch. There you go. <clears throat> Frame Mini Auto. Oh yeah, no, I know. I gotta watch more. My mom now is like the way my dad used to be, where he she'd just be watching YouTube videos of people make stuff, and she just experiments. She uh, perfected a lot of like jellos, honestly. She has some really good Mexican jellos. Bell relic. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. Done Zo. Hour and 25 minutes later, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Being patient. Like I said, these are always fun breaks. I love ripping them. It's just I know it's time consuming for customers, but uh, I'll do a quick little recap of all the hits we got. But uh, for the most part, it was a pretty, pretty nice break. I feel like we got more MLB autos than non-MLB, so that's always good. But the non-MLB is still going to come away with a lot of decent stuff, though. So, yeah, here were basically, like, the relics. All right. Got a relic there, a mini frame. There's an auto Langleers. Autograph Lepko. Cone relic. Molden relic. There's a Yawn frame mini auto. Andy Pettit. Yankees had a monster break. They had like three autos. One rip card of Sang at a 199. Second rip card of 299 there of Gunnar Henderson. Posada frame mini auto. Brett Beatty. And then we did have the one box topper rip card. So obviously, like I said, the Cardinals 
guaranteed three minis in this rip card if you decide to rip it. If not, you can sell it as is. It is numbered to 99. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, the Pikachu number one in the books. Number two and three are in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.